we swam out into the crystal clear waters of the Western English Channel, and diving down into the kelp forest below revealed a wealth of food that would surely mean seals were somewhere nearby. Turns out we were right, and a few minutes later, a quick dive gave us our first encounter with Britain's largest native carnivore. This young and fairly small seal, one of last year's pups maybe, couldn't resist checking us out. And then to our delight, more seals started to get the same idea. An infamous characteristic of seals is their curiosity. And these were no exception, twisting and turning to inspect us from all angles. This is only when they're in the water though. On land, they are far more nervous which is understandable considering how slow and immobile they become. For the water though, they are designed superbly. Responsive and powerful hind flippers fan out to thrust the seals through the water. And their streamlined torpedo-esque bodies give them a somewhat chunky elegance, letting them glide below the waves. Grey seals can hold their breath for an immensely long time up to 16 minutes or so, and can dive to over 70 meters deep. Sensitive whiskers, bulbous eyes, and an exquisite sense of hearing all contribute to making these seals formidable hunters. You wouldn't want to be a fish or crustacean in these waters. The UK is home to around 112,000 grey seals, about half of the world's population. These particular individuals, however, didn't have a long attention span and eventually got bored of human watching and abandoned us to go hunting. 